Welcome to Tutorio. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to never miss another one of our amazing videos. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything, just like our slime today. Well, folks, we're not exactly dealing with atomic science here, but creating slime can be just as thrilling and a whole lot messier. We're going to transform simple everyday ingredients into a squishy, stretchy, and oh-so-satisfying concoction. So, strap on your imaginary lab coats and prepare to get your hands dirty. Or should we say, slimy. So, if you're ready to get your hands sticky, let's dive into the world of slime. Ever wondered where the slime comes from? Nope, it's not from aliens or your little brother's nose. We're making it ourselves. Now let's round up our gooey gang. First up, we've got glue. Not just any glue, but the white school kind. This sticky stuff is our slime's body. It's what gives it that oh-so-satisfying squish. Next on our list, baking soda. Surprised? Well, this kitchen superstar does more than just fluff up your pancakes. It helps our slime hold its shape and bounce back after a good squish. Last but definitely not least, we need contact lens solution. And no, we're not making eyewear. This solution is our secret ingredient. It contains a compound called borate, which acts like a slime activator. When it meets our glue, it transforms it from a runny mess into a stretchy, squishy wonder. Now that we have our slimy suspects gathered, it's time for the gooey magic to happen. Get ready because it's about to get messy in here. So you've got your ingredients on standby, and now it's time to get stirring. Think of yourself as a mad scientist, conjuring a spectacularly squishy experiment. But remember, even mad scientists need to be careful. Slow and steady wins the race here, folks. As you start to mix, you'll see the transformation begin. The ingredients will start to stick together, forming a blob that looks like it's come straight out of a comic book. It's almost as if we're creating our very own little alien life form. But don't worry, it's totally harmless, unless you count the potential for a bit of a mess. Now here's a word of caution. You might be tempted to go all out and pour a bucket load of one ingredient into the mix. Resist that urge. Too much of a good thing can turn your perfect slime into a gloopy disaster. Imagine ending up with something that resembles more of a swamp monster than a delightful squishy slime. Not the goal here, folks. Keep stirring, keep mixing, and watch as your slime starts to take on a life of its own. It's a magical process. Almost like watching a slime-themed ballet unfold right before your eyes. And voila, you've just made a slime soup, but don't taste it, it's not that kind of soup. Now it's time to knead the slime. Think of it as a very sticky dough. And as with any dough, the trick is in the kneading. Don't be shy. Get your hands in there and start working that gooey goodness. Imagine you're a world-class baker, and this is your signature sourdough. Just remember, your mission is to knead the slime until it's no longer sticky. If it still feels like you're trying to wrangle a giant octopus, don't worry. Here's a tip. You can adjust the consistency by adding more contact lens solution. A little goes a long way, so add just a drop at a time, kneading after each addition. It's like adding flour to dough, but without the cloud of white dust. And before you know it, voila! Your slime will transform from a sticky mess into a smooth, stretchy masterpiece. Congratulations! You've just kneaded your way to your very own homemade slime. So, let's recap our adventure in the land of slime. We began our journey in a world of slippery starts, where we gathered our gooey goods. It was like assembling a team of superheroes, each with its unique power. Glue, the sticky mastermind, water, the fluid facilitator, and borax, the binding boss. Next, we stirred our slime soup a whirlpool of wonder that brought our ingredients together in a dance of destiny. It was like conducting an orchestra of ooze, each element playing its part in harmony. Then we moved on to kneading the gooey goodness, our hands bravely diving into the unknown. It felt like we were sculpting a masterpiece out of a cloud, a squishy, stretchy piece of heaven. So, there you have it folks. We faced the slippery, stirred the slimy, and kneaded the gooey, all in the name of science, or should we say, Slime ends. And that's how you make slime. It's not rocket science, but it sure is sticky science. 